Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Beta Plan, playing as the Ottoman Empire. As we are fighting Persia, who has a lot of dudes down here, so I am going to suffer the attrition here, and I'm just going to take it. In fact, I think I'm going to strengthen his army. No, that, that, that will be a bit too silly, but... Yeah, and they are pouring into the south, and I'm kind of hesitant to, uh... How shall I put it? Uh... Botova. That's right into me. Are you going north or south, I wonder? But, uh, yeah, I... You know what? You don't need a leader, also. Just no leader. And, uh... I am kind of curious where they will be going, because I kind of want... I, I'm just hesitant. Here. That, that's... In, I am repeating myself over and over. As I, uh... 38 dudes. Hmm. Look how many dudes they have over here. I don't like the amount of dutiness. Forty people in one problem. You must suffer a ton of attrition by doing that. Where are you gonna go? Forty men upwards. Then I'm going to pull out again. Because I don't want to face that with just my 15 stack over here. Are you standing still? Oh, come on. This is not a holiday. Uh... Yeah, we killed the Sarkel army. Very good. And the other possibility was perhaps Tombov, but uh, we are doing mm, well against the Sarkel. They are moving upward, I think. Um, not sure if we're gonna catch out this one little unit. I don't think we are. Nope, we're not. And they are turning around again. don't want to face them just with a 15 stack. I want them to attack, if anything, al Katif, Because I can add people over there from here, but I can't... I don't want to give up the siege of 70% with walls busted. It's that simple. So we'll just have to see over there. Um, as we also keep on sieging Sarkel. Yeah, sir, 37 dudes. I am not, uh... Oh, come on, Karakoinlu, don't be an idiot. You can't just snack that away from them. There we go, al Katif hours. And he is locked in. Now, I don't really need a general for one stack, but I'm kind of not sure where they're going to focus, so I really want... They might just actually focus on Shivan now that I'm sieging this. Yes, th I think that's actually what they're doing. Alright. Sir Kill! Fully sieged. And uh, these are the Mercs of the West, so the Mercs of the West are going to go back to the West. And these are the Serbian Supreme. A little out of position, but uh, let's put you it over there. As a... Uh, the uh, Mercs of the East are taking Tumbov. Yeah, I just expect that this army is going to get mm, surprised, so I'm going to get out of here already. Preemptive retreat. They've done what they had to. They uh, made sure that, uh, well, the big Persian army retreated northward. Are these mountains? I believe so. Huh? Yeah, we attacked before, and that didn't go very well for us. Oh, um, and now we also have significant armies over here. We gained a cause of belly against mm, the Papal State. Oh, I didn't know we had a free one. Whoops. Uh, no, not dynastic actions. Cover actions. Thank you very much. I'm going on. Um, how is our aggressive expansion going? Is it slowly going down? It's slowly going down. It, it, I would like quicker, but uh, I can't really do quicker. So, oh, Persian armies, you are locked in. I think you made a big mistake there, Persia. There we go. Yeah, this is going to, they're going to get screwed. 
Um, what is this? Sickness of the Parisha. Tutus has fallen ill. Uh oh. And cannot handle all aspects of ruling Ottomans for the time being. How shall we handle this? Uh, national tax modifier probably lower than monthly autonomy change because we have quite a bit of money. I'm going to talk to clients or kill. I'm going to see what I can get you. I want to sue for peace. And I want you. You're too big for an Ottoman vassalage. Well, you probably will have done too big if we would ask you to do so if you were uh, peacefully. What is this? Is it Mongol or Mongol? Hmm. Hmm. I don't. I really would like you as a vassal. You know what? End your alliance with Persia. And you don't need to return course to me. Uh, I would ask you for military power and transfer trade power. So that, yes, we are immediately going to go over it. And they will do so. So that we can immediately start. And, uh, this should give us one relationship to many. Yes. That's because we are receiving trade power. But now they love us again. And now what I want to know is... Uh, well, we are in an offensive war, so they won't accept it, but... They kind of would accept... Oh, a vassalization! That's what we would like to see! That's really good for us. Uh, 10th of January, alright. We are going to get a vassal in Sarkel. Um, we have more man here, but oh, we rolled a zero there. I noticed for a short moment. They roll a nine. Come on, roll better. We have the better general. Uh, this is a. Why does Persia always manage to get battles that are like really, really down to the wire? Uh, because we roll a one against their eight. That is a uh, part of it. We freaking lost. I can't believe this. Royal Marriage of Mexico. We freaking lost. <laughs> I don't know how Persia does it, but always the battles are just, just on the edge. And kill just... Uh, nope, we lost the battle. It was just so close. And yet, so far. Where are you old guys retreating to? Oh, okay. Over here. Well, that was incredibly unfortunate. Oh well, wouldn't be fun if I only won and won and won, of course. Dang, damn it! Didn't expect it though. Let me put it that way. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Thank you. One Diplo power on too many because we have too many relationships. What do we actually have? Oh, we have... Can't see that over here. Uh, view my own country. What do we all have? Sarkel, yes, I understand that. Kildjus, in which we want during this war. Morocco. And England. Oh, England doesn't like that much me anymore, but I do want England. Later on, for when we attack France, perhaps that we have been too early with signing with England. But I do think the alliance is good. You know what? We're just going to suffer it for now. The main thing why we're not getting a lot of different points is because we're annexing Karakoinlu. That is the major thing why we are not gaining a lot of points. Well, we are getting a lot of armies here again. Because there are the Russians, and the Georgian Doom, and the Armenian Death, and the Italian Elite. Italian Elite? All over here? <laughs> Don't know how I managed that, but yeah, we are not going to be bogged down by one lost battle. Move in. All of it. Because I assume they are going to help. 
No, they're not. Yes, they are. All right, then. This is a battle we will take, in which we have way more numbers than them. Even with the river crossing, I assume we can win this. Please win this. Don't make me look like a fool. Holy heck, the bad rules. Well, we're getting even more, man. We should have enough morale. But this is a painful battle, nonetheless. And you will see that... Oh, 6% war score. That's actually... I thought that would be, like, a lot less. Knowing how this game tends to... Uh, Reward more war score to the army with uh, with well lower army count, which isn't too ridiculous. Well, it can be annoying. Mm, and Kildis is making good progress in the east. He and Persia really focused on the west this time in order to uh, maintain its holdings. Uh, are you the Mercs? No, you're not. But we're still going to send you over to Shirvan. Because that's one of the provinces I actually want to give to my vassal. So we have a diplomat available. Mm. Oh, the Tonic of Water in Lithuania are in, in, they're in war with many people. Lithuania is going to do a reconquest on you. All right. Whoa, Brunswick. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Is, in the Brunswick conquest of Koblenz. Well, that's not happening. That is a for damn sure. All right. Well, um, are you you are fighting England? Bohemia would come to their aid. I don't think that matters. Let's just get the freaking Byzantine Empire away. I know we wanted to uh, release some aggressive expansion, but it's the Byzantine Empire, and we need them gone. I mean, come on, the Byzantine Empire needs to be gone already a long, long time ago. Oh, unfortunately, I did not pay enough attention. We have maxed out our mm, military points. Let's uh, spend a lot. We here have some desert provinces that can easily uh, take some points. Uh, this little island also, I think, is very little. Yeah, Jerba. There we go. That is more than enough points to, uh, well, let us be able to uh, freely do what we want for a while. And that should be enough for Bohemia and what is left of <laughs> the Byzantine Empire. Can we have more ships? We can have definitely have more ships. We want more five more barks. There we go, and uh, build something in the surrounding area. There you go, you're not too long with building it. Yeah. Well, you then, I guess. There we go, five more barks. Um, we have somebody who is free. And England wasn't too pleased with us anymore, so let's talk to... England. Tudor? What kind of a dynasty name is that? Who do you, uh... I'm one of death. Yeah, I don't care, but I meant... Nobody else has this dynasty. All right. Don't know where you picked it up from. And is Scotland still in a personal union? No, it's not. It used to be in a personal union with Sweden, but apparently it's independent again. All right. Well, I think that that war is pretty easy. We need to focus on this front. And Persia seems to be completely gone. We should consider taking some provinces for our uh, vassal over here. You accept Mongol, don't you? Yeah, you do. Perhaps we should give you more Mongol provinces. So that perhaps we can get it as accepted. Which we later would need for getting our kill. Oh, what's going on here? Whoa, gained 200 military power. Tutus has been uh, has begun a thorough revision of our country's military structure. While officers are still drawn from the ability, the peasant and townspeople are conscripted into their uh, other ranks. Regular drilling has been introduced and a powerful fleet established together with hundreds of battleships, galleys and other crafts. We can decide if we want some diplo power with that as well.
Diplomatic technology costs, military technology costs. Both down. Are we going to do any of those tax soon? Well, Diplo points we're currently extremely spending on... Uh, yeah, but it was also not... We're seven years ahead of tax, so tech will not be useful. And Diplo points we can put into our deer group. We'll go both ways. Up on, there we go. There we go. We trade disputes against Zealand. Zealand? Actually, I should say, because that's the way to pronounce it. Zealand over here, we have a trade dispute against. Okay then. And Wolpe is not a Dutch name. A noble from my house, Capet. Did you just spawn? I think you just spawned, did you not? Yeah, because Brunswick is, is over. Brunswick uh, war is gone, and I think they had to give something to Cologne. Yeah, I think Brunswick just got completely smacked. Well, completely, a bit smacked. Not even that much. Whoa! Is this the last remaining province of the Hansa is in the Netherlands? <laughs> Horstein is uh, one of the great powers now. Mm, all right. Yes, you wish. As you wish, game. As you wish. Hmm. Persia, Persia, Persia. You should not have made me angry. You don't like me when I'm angry. Ah, walking around this mechanic is sometimes so annoying. <laughs> All right. That's too early. I don't really want to take a battle right now. I should just walk over here. Gillon, oh, we remember you. What a battle we had in that province. Ow. That was quite painful for us, the Ottomans. <laughs> we had a battle that was really close for Persia. And I saw an army retreating over there, that means it kills you. Whoa, are you okay? You're having a little bit of spastic seizure over there, it seems. Oh, no leader available. Oh, they're both sieging. They're all free sieging. Oh, well then, sorry, Mercs, you're going to go in there without a leader. We can get some technology. More administrative technology. Yes, please. Because we're still behind. And now we're again uh, near uh, near ahead of time. Very nice. When we're actually going to get very close to another idea group. How wonderful. How old is Tutus? Tutus is 67. Oof. And my air is 64, so I have the feeling that we are soon going to have a rapid uh, second of leaders. Mob against unbelievers. Actually, no, we're going to keep... No, we guys are not going to take any problem. We have no more need for it. We don't need missionary strength. War of Armies is good, don't get me wrong. War of Armies is really, really good, but... There we go. So, uh, oh yeah, of course, the Byzantines are still in it, so they're not, uh, I mean, Bohemia is still in it, so they're not really willing to peace out. I never got that uh, thing. And we have our first extra trade ship. Go to Venice. I fung think we fought against Bohemia without even me knowing it. Uh, you need nine. What is your army? Select the army. Oh, you just need to replenish a little bit and then we can start sieging. You know, I don't want to be annoying, but I just want to check. Can we make Byzantine heal already? Uh, 
I don't know. What we can check. I definitely do want to check in these episodes if we can end both wars. I just want this. It's all I want. Nope. They're close. But not close enough. What I also could do is see if a uh, female wants to peace out. No. Whoa, but they're really close for peacing out. Persia wants to peace out. Alright. I cannot accept that just yet, Persia. I mean, I'm kind of willing, but I want, for instance, Shirvan to flip to my vassal. So, in order for that to happen, I do need to siege the province. And there we go. Battle of Hilden. Is taking place. Voila, that is the army. And, uh... Let's uh, talk to Bohemia again. Because um, the reason that we don't have on the war score is because Bohemia is in this war. And it's that simple. So we're going to attack their pitiful little army of four with one star general with my two army. There we go. Completely crushed that. Uh, Bohemia. You're willing to talk peace at least. And I don't really want to... Uh, Want anything from you but war reparations. The rest they really don't care. And you can release a country. Yeah, well, I don't really want to spend the diplo points. Let's just siege a little bit more. Make sure that they will give us some reparations and then it will be fine. And uh, let's start looking at what we want to give to our vassal. Let's give this one to our vassal. Karakoinlu, you can take that one. Uh, that's Persian. That is Mongol. I'm not saying we're going to give all these provinces to Karakoinlu. Because it will also cause it to be... Oh, Kurdish? Definitely. Because Kurdishu is one of your major things. You know, I don't want to give every province over here. This is all Persian. Yeah, in Persian culture we don't really accept. So I think that's just about it. Hmm. I'll get teeth, perhaps, and then we'll keep Al Arit the, as the only Persian province over on this side. And that could be an idea. Yeah, you're not going to get through this, buddy. Oh! I just noticed that we can't leave, or otherwise we'll lose the province. My mistake, because there's a fort over there. Let's play cleanup crew. Uh, we can't move there because of uh, that fort over there. I already noticed. I already know where the where the bloody problem, problem is. This fort. All right. I uh, guess I'm going to stay here because I'm not really keen on moving too much further. Bohemia, are you already ready to give me war reparations? So all I want from you is war reparations. Need at least 10 war score to demand something. Dude, I am... I didn't get for that. You know what? Let's... It is the Emperor. It is the Emperor. Let's just keep this war a little longer. Oh... All of you, combine. Time for you to be a large, large trade fleet. Thank you very much. Venice. We are still beating up enemy armies. Uh, where is he? I mean, I'm more than willing to let him stay home if I know the local defensiveness. There doesn't state a oh, Bosna. So that's Bosnia. So Bosnia, do you have a fort? You have one. Then stay home. Um Do 
two bodies. No, I don't really care at all. No, no, no. I uh, think this is a really bad peace deal. This is a really bad peace deal. And but Shivan has did now change to the hands of me. So let's talk peace. Let's talk peace. Alkatif. This is all going to my vassal. Alright. That gives us a nice little... And uh, this all to my vassal. And I will take these three. And we'll leave you with Al Arit. That's the only thing we're going to leave you. And we're going to give you... That was Quetta, right? That you had a, a claim on. Yeah. And I actually want to have my ally happy. So, Karakorno, Karakorno, Ottomans, 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 Kiltjes. Yes, very good. And then war reparations. Is that all doable? Eh, that's an uh, unreasonable amount. Alright. Um, what shall we give up? al is a fort. Which is why I kind of want it. As is... You know what? Let's, let's not take this one. Ooh, that matters a lot. Manza Mazandaran is a lot. Oh, we forgot to humiliate. Oh, we need to humiliate. Um, <laughs> Hamadan, are you? No, you are not a very good province, and you are not. And you, what are you? You are Mongol. I really do want the Kurdish one. That's over there. All right, we'll remove at least. This one from the peace deal. And... What else are we going to remove? Um, yeah, we, we are unreasonable. Kuzestan? This fort over here? This way you would accept it. <sighs> we could last the war a little longer, but then it would mean that we have to peace out outside in, in the next episode. And that's really what I want to do. And I really want to give kills just something because, well, they, they are, they've earned it. Let's be fair here and honest. We could also do it like, let's keep one around here, and then we can just walk around here around the desert. You know, we don't really need this province that hard. It's, it's a free development and a free development, so... You know, for less aggressive expansion, we could really do it like this. Without any problem. And then Kuzestan back? No. This province back? No. And definitely not Mansdaran back? No. So, these two then? And now we have done humiliate war operations, given four provinces to my vassal. One to my ally and two to me. And, uh, whoa, cut off Persia because they uh, will have no border. The only way they can go through it is through Bari. I think this is a good deal. I will send the mans so that we will end the war in this episode. That is very, very good. Persia will see the uh, Yabal Shabar and Hafar to the Ottomans. Persia will see Al Katif, Gilan, Shirvan, and Zanyan to Karakoinlu. Persia will see Kweta to Kildjis. So Karakoinlu, integrating it will take now a little, little longer. No, it's just quicker. Don't know why. But uh, yes, my vassal, I hope he will core all the new provinces that he has over here. And, uh, well, then we will gain these provinces as well. But it are all accepted cultures, which is why I could easily give them to him. Except for Bedouin, I have to admit, an al Katif not. But that is a fort, which is why I really wanted it. And that will give us a nice bit of border. Certainly a nice border for Karakoinlu. And I guess in the next episode we are going to uh, talk to Bohemia. After all, he is the emperor. And perhaps we can even get some access from Poland. Then again, Bohemia has perhaps larger armies up here. But that is something I said for the next episode. And we'll check out what we can do then. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.